so now that you have your magnet shape, um, you can do a few things. First thing you're going to do is kind of smooth out. You can see I've got those lines from where I've used my rolling pin. So I'm just going to get a little bit of water on my finger. We don't want too much because if your clay gets too wet, you're not going to be able to use it very well. So I'm just going to get a little dash of water on my finger. I'm going to use that to smooth out some of those rough spots. And if your clay is already kind of wet, you don't even need water on your finger. That's just if your clay is getting a little dry from touching it so much. So I'm kind of smoothing it out. I'm even going to smooth out the edges a little here. And then you can create your design. Before I can create my design though, I want to flip it over to the back side. And I'm going to write my name on it. So you have to be careful when you're writing your name that you don't press too hard because you don't want to go all the way through your clay. You're just going to write really kind of lightly. So I'm just going to write, you can see it, it's bringing off some clay. So I just take that off. And I'm going to carefully write my name on the back. And if you need help writing your name on the back, it's not a problem. We can come and help you. So just let me know if you need help with that. And then we're going to turn it back over. And then you can create your design on this side. So if you want to draw something into it, like maybe I want to make a rainbow. And I'm going to draw the lines like that. Again, you got to be careful not to press too hard. Because if you press too hard, it's going to go right through your clay. You want it to just be light and gentle. So I can draw my lines on there, or I can add some on there. So I have this extra clay, and I can make something in a shape. Like I have a rainbow, maybe I'll make a raindrop on top of it. So I'm going to make it a raindrop shape. I'm just kind of shaping it with my fingers. And then before I put it on there, I'm going to make some little lines on the back of it little lines on the back of it like that and those will help it stick to the clay and I'm going to draw little lines where I'm going to stick it little lines like that and I'm going to put just a tiny bit of water again see how I got it all wet on there that's kind of going to work like glue so I get that wet on there and I'm going to stick it right on top of those other lines I drew and I'm going to press it down so now it'll kind of stick you can see if I try to lift it up it kind of stays there the other thing I noticed is that it's starting to get a crack. So I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to go over top of that spot and I can kind of smooth it out. And it's starting to get a little bit too much water on there. So I'm going to be careful. I don't want to get too much water on it because it'll start to get all sticky and, and it won't work very well. So now I have the raindrop and I have my rainbow. And I noticed when I started rubbing around that, the lines from my rainbow kind of went away. So I'm going to go back in and I'm going to make that rainbow shape again. I'm going to go right back over those same lines. So you can decide if you want to what you want to make on your magnet. Make a rainbow or a star or a, your name or a letter. Something like that. You can go ahead and make yours.